Hey guys, Dr. Huddle here. In a previous video, I explained how to install a mod into the resource swapper. And in this video, I will show you how to implement and obtain my CSS into Crunker.io, whether that be on the official client or the Steam client version. If you're wondering how to install it on the browser version, you can check Quacky's video linked in the description. However, keep watching to learn how to download my CSS that I will showcase later in the video. Okay, first let me explain what a CSS is and what it does. For the nerds out there, CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheets and is a computer language that is written to primarily develop the layout and the structuring of a web page. So basically, in a nutshell, editing your CSS in Crunker changes where you see certain components on your screen, such as a font, web buttons and icons in place, as well as the change of colors. Alright, and here we have our finished CSS edited by myself, including a combination of scripts written by Raizu and Quacky. As you can see, the UI is very different, with a lot of new transparent icons as well as buttons being put in different places. We still have the usual host game, server, ranked, invite and join buttons down the bottom. However, the icons usually situated to the left side of default Crunker is now on the top. Now, you can still click into your profile there, everything looks similar. However, edges are now rounded along with font and color changes. If you hover your mouse over the channel's icon, there is now a hidden Dropbox feature where you can join all your friends' games and also see who was streaming live. The spectate button is now on the top left, and all you need to do is check the box like so, and you can obviously click on your name for your stats to show up in the same way as before. Now, there is another hidden menu of icons um, in the bottom right, where if you hover over the text Dr. Huddle, it brings you access to the TOS, changelog, and in-game advertisement board icons. I must add that this code was first written by Raizu, so full props to him. Alright, now let's enter some game for some gameplay and I will show you the different game modes in Crunker and how the UI differs for each one. Now I will show you how to get this CSS and implement it into the game. Firstly, you want to join my Discord in the description below. Head over to the resource swapper and download the zip folder labeled Dr. Huddle's CSS. You then want to extract that file and locate the resource swapper and place the file in the resource swapper folder. Note, if you do not have a folder within the resource swapper titled CSS, make one. Then open your Crunker and your game should be now running my CSS. As you can already see, the font on the loading screen has changed to the new font in the CSS. If you are running the Steam client, locate the directory where you keep your downloaded files for Steam. For me, that is in this PC, Program Files x86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Crunker, and Resources. Now here is a tricky bit. You need to install 
a third-party software that allows you to read and access ASAR files. After that, you can open the folder titled app, go into CSS, and delete main underscore steam.css, which in my case has already been deleted. Make sure you do not delete the loading CSS, as that will mess up the default loading Steam screen implemented into Crunker. That's all for today, guys. I hope you guys learned something. Um, if you still have any questions, uh, please don't hesitate to comment or just hop in the Discord and ask me in there.